trigonometric equation so for x in 2 cosine of 4x is equals to negative 1 4 x is greater or equal to 0 and should be less than or equal to 180 so the range is simply from 0 degrees to 180 your answers are supposed to be between there now to solve this trigonometric equation we are solving for x so we must eliminate everything from the left hand side and remain with x and we shall begin by eliminating 2 so we divide both sides of this equation by 2 when you divide the left hand side by 2 we shall remain with cosine of 4x is equals to we divide negative 1 by 2 we get negative 0 0.5 once we've done that now we need to get rid of this uh, cosine and you're going to do this by getting the cos inverse of both sides so, so that you can remain with 4x on the left side we get the cos inverse of both sides but before we do that there's something i want to explain using the unit circle very important and that is concerning this negative that you can see here so all students take coffee so we have zero degrees we have 90 degrees we have 180 270 and finally 360. this negative implies that we're going to use it only to locate where do we find cosine being negative it is in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant that is the meaning of that negative otherwise when you're getting the acute angle that you're going to use to find these angles we shall not get use this negative the negative is there to help us locate the quadrant in which these angles will lie so and this one means where do we find cosine being negative in the unit circle it is in the second and in the third quadrant since here all of them are positive the second that is where you have only sign which is positive so all the others are negative and also this so these are the two quadrants our angles will come from these two so therefore when you're getting uh x so to get remain with 4x get the cos inverse of 4x you remain with 4x is equals to so here you shall get cosine inverse of 0 0.5 not negative 0 0.5 the negative said and i repeat will help us to locate where the angles are and specifically it is where the cosine is negative that is how you're going to use it so for x therefore is equals to cos inverse of 0 0.5 get the cos inverse of 0 0.5 using a calculator you'll get that on to be 60 degrees so these 60 degrees will help us to get all the angles that are in the second quadrant and the third quadrant and that is where we have cosine being negative so 60 will not be applicable because it's in the first quadrant and our angle is not there so this one will help us to calculate for the angle so therefore uh, 4x is equals to using 60 in the second quadrant how do you get the angle we take 180 subtract 60 we we'll get 120 and then how do you get the angle in the third quadrant we take 180 plus that acute angle so 180 plus 60 you get 140 degrees like that and then our um, scenes um we finally have to get x we we'll need to divide 4x is equals to 120 we need to divide all these by 4 so when you divide this by 4 you get that t this is 60 so we need to go for the second round that is the first round the first round is up to 360 so when you go to the second round we'll go up to this will be 360 plus 90 450 plus 90 540 so again get the angle with the second quadrant that is the second round we take 540 minus 60 and that one will give uh, 480 480 then here in this quadrant 540 plus uh, 60 you get uh, 600 degrees again we need to test to see whether we're still in the range 0 to 180 you need to divide as i've said 4x but to get x you need to divide all these by 4 so when i divide 600 because this is the largest 
600 uh, divided by 4 i'll get 150 maybe i can test maybe if i go uh, another round whether it will be more than 180 or less so the second round um, will come up to this point to be 540 all the way this will be 720 so we start with 720 so 720 plus 180 that will be 900 then uh, 900 minus um, 900 minus 60 you get 840 so you can test uh, 840 divided by 4 will give 220 and 220 will exceed so this one will not be there so these are the angles now to get x you need to divide all these angles by by 4 4 by because this is 4x so on 20 divided by 4 you get 30 degrees this divided by 4 you get 60 degrees then 480 divided by you give 120 degrees and 150 degrees and these are the required solutions for x this is supposed to solve that question